Welcome back to Bear Up with Steck. Each time at this week, Matt Vereen takes us under the helmet to meet one of the Missouri State players. This segment is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Last week, 60 minutes of rugged Valley football game time to one snap and one field goal attempt that was blocked by the Bears. Here's another look at that. 32 yard attempt, hash mark right into the wind. The kick is blocked! It's blocked! It's the Bears <laughs> fall on it! And the Bears beat Illinois State! <laughs> oh my God! It's the biggest play of the season, and something we'll look back on for years to come. But who deserves the credit? Initially, praise went to Darius Joseph. During that play, I widened out a little bit more than I usually do. And uh, looking at uh, film, that weight is a little, he was a little careless. After that, I just, you know, staring at the ball and then dove, dove in for it. When the ball was kicked, and I saw it you get blocked. I'm like, I'm running, I'm, you know, I'm hyped up and everything. And people are just like, yeah, D, yeah, D, yeah. I was like, I, I blocked that? I was asking them, you know, like, blocked that kick? I'm like, yeah, you blocked that kick, yeah, you did. I was like, all right, all right. All right. But after looking at film, Joseph says he didn't touch the ball. Was it just gravity then? Well, Joseph has questions about that too. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that I don't believe in gravity. I say that I just have a theory that it could be something else. I think that the reason why stuff gets pulled down is because of magnetism and dielectricity. Now, if you're like me, Darius loses you when he uses big words like dielectricity. But I've done some research, and simply enough, this is what he means. Dielectricity is the idea that an insulator can be polarized by an applied electric field. Now those molecules not only become polarized, but also reorient so that their symmetry axis align to the field. Simple enough, right? Some people do give me crap about it. Some people actually like, you know, I don't know. I want to say that they agree, but they're, they'd be like, well, you know, I see what, you know, what you mean or something like that. I've actually had a conversation about it. I like, I've been in a lot of like physics classes and classes like that, so I don't necessarily agree with it, but I see I, can, I respect that he's actually challenging it. So according to Joseph, it wasn't him or gravity that brought the ball down. What was it then? I say it was Eric's hand. <laughs> For sure. If you look closely, you'll see that he's right. Eric Johnson's left hand stays up long enough to stop the ball dead in its tracks. And that's exactly what he told Joseph. Eric came, came to me, he's like, you know, you know, I hit that thing, right? You know, and, and I was just like, I mean, whoa, shoot. We won the game. So cool. <laughs> the mix up with Eric Johnson put Joseph in a tough spot, but to his credit, he admitted it wasn't him in a team meeting. You know, he said, Raise your hand if you, uh, you know, like if you actually, you know, hit the ball. And I was like, No, I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> that was all I hit right here. So. Joseph still got credit from the conference. His six tackles in the game were good for a defensive player of the week honor. Plus, he and the Bears get one of the program's biggest wins. Thanks, of course, to Eric Johnson. Magnetism and dielectricity. For Bear Up, I'm Matt Vereen. Can't, can't see enough of that. But what about dielectricity and, and magnetism? You got magnetism, I, uh, Coach. I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah, I think that's great by Darius. I'm just curious if he knows how to spell those two <laughs> words.